Welcome to the second video in our Quick Start series. In this video, we'll cover the process of building scenarios in iRise Studio. In most cases, the goal of defining scenarios is to reach rapid consensus on high-level business requirements, the scenario flow, and the scope of the current simulation. The simplicity of this process in iRise means that all of this can happen in rapid fashion, often in a single scenario ideation session with stakeholders. As you can see, the Scenario Whiteboard has a clean user interface with a limited set of features for building out your scenario flow. The widget toolbar contains only five components, or scenario widgets. Pages, decisions, clouds, embedded scenarios, and start widgets. We'll explain each type briefly over the course of this video. Let's imagine that we're in a scenario ideation session with our project stakeholders, and they identify a need for a scenario to describe the process a new user would go through to create a profile on our web application. Let's build that scenario now. We'll create the scenario in a new folder to keep our project organized. The folder name will mirror the name of the scenario. Let's call it User Creates New Profile. Now let's create the scenario within our new folder. The Start widget in our new scenario represents the event that kicks off the scenario flow. In this case, we might imagine that a new user clicks a Create Profile link on the login screen. Let's create a requirement to document that assumption. To write text requirements, we need to switch to Document View. The requirements you write in Studio can be formatted, searched, spell-checked, and synced with the Requirements Management System. As you will see shortly, you can also associate requirements with visualization content and create hierarchical relationships between requirements. For now, let's switch back to Simulation View and start building out our scenario. The first thing our new users will see is a page containing a form that will be used to capture their profile information. To add this page to the scenario, we'll drag the page icon from the widget toolbar to the scenario whiteboard. We'll call this page Create Profile Screen. In the directory, you'll notice that the page is not just an abstract concept at this point, but an actual page within our project. One of our stakeholders has indicated that the data submitted on this page should be compared against the current user database to make sure that a duplicate profile isn't being created. We'll represent this with a decision. The name we'll give to our decision will take the form of a question, since the path or scenario will take depends on the answer. Our new decision deserves an associated requirement since we're visualizing business rules. To add a new requirement directly beneath the current one, use the Control Enter shortcut. After we've created the requirement, we'll associate it with the decision by dragging and releasing it on the decision widget. Back in Simulation View, we need to add the two pages that will represent the decision branches of our scenario. Our project team has also decided that representing the back-end password retrieval process is important, even though we won't be including it in our simulation. Back-end processes are typically represented by a cloud. Now we are ready to show the flow of our scenario. To do this, simply drag a scenario widget and release it on the next one in the flow. As simple as our scenario is, there are a few things we can do to add even more clarity. One thing we can do is apply different colors to our scenario widgets. We can also annotate scenario widgets by adding text to the label field in the Properties panel. Finally, to make the relationship between this scenario and the user logs in scenario even more clear, we can embed the other scenario inside of this one. In under four minutes, we have created a simple scenario that will serve as a foundation as we continue to define the requirements for this application. The strength of this tool is in its simplicity. A project team can rapidly define high-level requirements and scenario flows in a visual, iterative fashion that gets everyone involved and helps build consensus quickly. As you will see if you watch the next video in our Quick Start series, the work you do here flows seamlessly into the next phase of the project. Thanks for watching.